Setting up Basecamp has never been easier. Here's a short tutorial to help you take advantage of the many features Moki has to offer. Moki has five poles. Start by taking the two longer black poles. First, place them through the short black sleeve and put each pole end into the grommet. Pay attention to which color webbing you put it through and match it on the other side. Repeat this with the other pole, again matching red to red and black to black. Then clip the tent body to the outer poles. Next, move inside the tent with the two orange anodized poles. Snap one pole end into the corner and follow it diagonally across to snap it into the other corner. Do the same with the second pole, crossing it with the first. Finish on the inside of the tent by using the Velcro tabs to secure the poles to the tent, starting at the top. Complete the Moki setup by taking the one remaining short black stretcher pole and inserting its ends into the grommets on top of the tent. Use the provided finger loops to easily bend the pole into place to ensure proper ventilation. Moki is a true four season tent. Ventilation is key to Moki's versatility. Starting from the top, the roof zips can be opened or closed from the inside or outside, depending on weather conditions. Moki has a huge amount of mesh. There are side doors which roll up and the main doors which zip down. These ventilation points, combined with the Osmo shell fabric, provide excellent ventilation. The Moki comes with one vestibule, but has the ability to use two. Start by taking the prebent pole and sliding it through the pole sleeve. Take the vestibule and zip it to the tent body. Then put each pole through the grommets on the vestibule, then through the grommets on the tent itself. Tighten the ladder lock to secure the vestibule pole. Finally, stake out the front of the vestibule and tighten the anchors for each. For extreme cold, Moki has a unique accessory called Cheese. Cheese is a custom fitted, breathable liner made of reflection fabric. It insulates the tent by reflecting heat, thereby increasing the inside temperatures by 15 to 20 percent. You can install the cheese after setting up the outside poles. Start by laying the interior poles on the inside of the tent to form an X. Lay the cheese on top. Be sure the reflective side is down so it can provide the maximum amount of breathability and insulation. Line up the doors on the cheese with the doors on the tent, and then put the pole ends through the grommets on the cheese. Then erect the interior poles, again making sure to put the pole ends through the grommets on the cheese. Continue by attaching the cheese to the tent with the hook and loop tabs. Start with the pole wrap at the top and secure the rest of the poles to the cheese. The next step is to attach the cheese to the tent body. Do this by taking the hook and loop closures along the seams of the tent body and pulling them through the slots on the cheese. Lastly, secure the hook and loop tabs from the floor of the tent body to the cheese. For convenience on extended trips, Moki is able to be set up and taken down without attaching the cheese again.